Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve a nice Diophantine equation. Now, uh, Diophantine equation is an equation having more than or equal to two unknowns. The equation is given as x power 8 plus y power 8 plus 6 equal to 8 times xy. And we are supposed to find out the solution set for x and y here. Before we proceed to the solution, I would like you to give it this problem a try by yourself and later on you can come back and watch the solution. And if you enjoy my content, kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for this video. And yes, let us proceed to the solution now. To solve this equation, I'm going to make use of the famous AMGM inequality. Now what is this AMGM equality? For any given list of real numbers, the arithmetic mean of the numbers, that is AM, is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean. Okay? Let us say we have two numbers here, uh, say A1 and A2. Okay? A1, A2. The arithmetic mean of these two numbers will be A1 plus A2 divided by 2. And the geometric mean will be the square root of A1 times A2. So this inequality says that the arithmetic mean this is always greater than or equal to this geometric mean and the equality exists only when the numbers are equal to each other. Let us say we have three numbers say a1, a2 and a3 okay so the arithmetic mean will be the sum of the numbers divided by the number of entries that is three entries okay this is greater than or equal to the cube root this time we have three entries right so it will be cube root of a1 a2 a3 okay so the in the equality exists only when the numbers are equal to each other let us say uh, the numbers a1 a2 they are equal to each other so let us say they are equal to a common number a then what happens to the arithmetic mean arithmetic mean will become a plus a by 2 right which will become 2a by 2 and that's equal to a right so arithmetic mean this is arithmetic mean and what about the geometric mean geometric mean will be the square root of a1 times a2 which is nothing but a into a right which is nothing but square root of a square which is equal to a so in this case when the numbers are equal you can see that the arithmetic mean and the geometric mean are equal to each other okay that happens in the case of three numbers as well so you can easily see that if the numbers are equal then the arithmetic mean will be a plus a plus a by 3 and the geometric mean will be cube root of a into a into a now what happens here a plus a plus a will be 3a 3a by 3 and here it will be cube root of a cube so you can easily see that 3a by 3 is a and cube root of a cube is also a so they are equal to each other so in this case the arithmetic mean and the geometric mean will be equal to each other when the numbers are equal so keep this point in mind it's very much required in this problem we can apply this to any general case for example if we have let us say a1 a2 a3 all the way up till a n okay then we can say that the arithmetic mean that is a1 plus a2 plus a3 all the way till a n divided by number of terms are n so this is the arithmetic mean this is always greater than or equal to the nth root since we have n numbers so it will be nth root of a1 into a2 into a3 all the way till a n so this is the amgm inequality i just wanted to give you a brief introduction so that you can uh, you know understand the problem very well and remember that this equality this equal to symbol holds good when the numbers are equal to each other now let us come to our problem so this is our question so let me re re rewrite the question below so the question is x to the power 8 plus y to the power 8 plus 6 is equal to 8xy okay let me take a look at this left hand side part okay x power 8 we have x power 8 plus y power 8 and that 6 can be written as 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so i have split 6 into 6 ones as they are sum okay so now uh, how many entries do we have here how many terms do we have so if you count x power 8 y power 8 and the 6 ones we have 8 entries right so we have 8 numbers so apply the amgm inequality 
that is nothing but arithmetic mean will be sum of these numbers divided by the number of entries that is 8 right so this is always greater than or equal to the eighth root of eighth root of the product of all these numbers that is x power 8 into y power 8 and 6 ones that is 1 into 1 into 1 into 1 into 1 into 1 okay this is the amgm inequality okay let's play with this for a little bit now we can take this 8 to the other side so that we have x power 8 plus y power 8 and we have 6 ones that is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 8 times 8th root of x power 8 into y power 8 we don't have to worry about the ones because it's just one right the product of 6 ones is again one itself okay now we have x power 8 plus y power 8 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 greater than or equal to 8 times 8th root of x power 8 is nothing but x right and 8th root of y power 8 is y okay this is what we have now this is the condition that we have that is this x power 8 plus y power 8 plus 6 right this is nothing but 6 is greater than or equal to 8xy but in our given equation x power 8 plus y power 8 plus 6 is given as equal to x by 8xy right it's not greater than or equal to 8xy it is given as equal to right so when is uh, the arithmetic mean equal to geometric mean so i have told you already the arithmetic mean and the geometric mean the equality exists only when all the entries are equal right all the entries are equal to each other only when the then the arithmetic uh, mean and the geometric mean will be equal to each other so because of that because of the equality that is given in the question we can say that all of these terms here that is on the left side x power 8 y power 8 1 1 1 1 1 1 all of these are equal to each other which means x power 8 is equal to y power 8 this is equal to this and that is equal to 1 okay so this condition is obtained now by using the amgm equality okay we have used the equality condition over here and using this we can easily solve for the values of x and y let's do that now okay so first let us take x power 8 equal to 1 so we can easily get that here the solution satisfying this equation will be x equal to 1 and negative 1 right because 1 power 8 is 1 and negative 1 power 8 is also 1 because 8 is an even power and the same thing for y power 8 equal to 1 as well here also we get the solution as y equal to 1 or negative 1 but here we cannot take any random combinations for x and y it's not like we can take 1 and minus 1 or 1 and 1 or anything that we want so we have to be careful of the solution set here okay sign of the numbers so how do we decide the sign of numbers for that let us take a look at this given equation once again okay so we have obtained this solution now so the given equation was x power 8 plus y power 8 plus 6 equal to 8xy okay so now i'm going to claim that both x and y both x and y should have the same sign they should have the same sign that means if x is positive then y also should be positive if x is negative then y also should be negative how can i say that you take a look at this equation let us say x is positive and y is positive then what happens x power 8 will be positive number and y power 8 also will be positive so left hand side is positive same as the right hand side also positive into positive will be again positive number itself so both lhs and rhs are positive numbers and let us say if i take x as negative and y as negative then a negative number to the power 8 will be again a positive number right it will be a positive number again this also will be a positive number because even if y is negative because of the power of it it will be positive and here also when we multiply two negative signs we get the answer as positive right so now both lhs and rhs are positive but what if you take different signs let us say we take x as positive and y as negative 
then what will happen here x is positive so x power 8 will be a positive number again and here also even if y is negative because of the even power the number will be positive itself but on the right side x into y will be a positive number multiplied by a negative number which will result in a negative number so lhs is positive but rhs is negative so this cannot happen okay this cannot happen so if you have different signs for x and y then this equation will not hold good so because of that i said that both x and y should have the same sign so because of that we have to take only the combinations having the same sign that is if x is 1 then y also is 1 okay this is one solution set and if x is negative 1 then y also should be negative 1 so we can say that the solution set x comma y it's nothing but one solution set is 1 comma 1 and the second set is minus 1 comma minus 1 you can easily verify this solution by plugging the values in the equation so this is where our solution ends and i hope all of you enjoyed the logic and the problem as well for more such interesting videos kindly subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next video